Today, God is saying to you, If I say something, it will occur. It was predicted before my son died on the cross that he would rise on the third day. Even though they were aware of the prophecy, the people who knew him as the Son of God did not believe he would rise from the dead. But, as I already stated, it occurred. They were all taken aback to see him alive. Remember, he had a purpose, and he was obedient to me, assisting me in carrying out my plan to save the entire world. You, too, have a mission in this world. I sent you to this earth for a reason. Whatever is going on in your life is all part of a plan to achieve those goals. There is always a resurrection to whatever you face in your life. When others notice, think about, and discuss what is happening or why it is happening in your life. Don't give them your heart. Instead, trust what I said. I promised you that I would bless you. Remember, I'll do it then. They will all be surprised to see the blessing that you will receive. And also by seeing the blessing that they will receive through you. Believe in me. I will shower you with blessings. You were chosen by me, which is why you are always referred to as my child. Anxiety will never make anything better. Instead of being concerned, start trusting that your position will improve. When Daniel was thrown into the lion's den, he did not get worried or nervous about his position, but instead began to pray and believe that I would protect him. When you look at Joseph's life, you'll notice that he was blamed and punished for things he didn't do. He was condemned to prison, which could cause him a lot of problems. Even in the midst of that circumstance, he did not get worried or anxious, instead, he began to pray and also believed in me. Instead of becoming concerned as the Cherith brook dried up, Elijah began to pray about it, believing that I would provide what he required. When you examine the lives of Esther, Moses, and David, you will notice that they all had situations that caused them to be concerned or tense. Instead of being concerned or anxious, they all began to pray about their predicament and placed their trust in me. I have blessed them and made them the blessing through their faith, and I have bestowed many blessings on them that they never expected. You may be going through a scenario in your life that is causing you anxiety about specific things. But instead of worrying or being nervous, begin to pray about it and begin to believe in me. The circumstance may persist for a long time, but if you maintain your faith and pray about it, I will give you the greatest testimony that no one could have predicted would happen in your life. You already know I have a strategy for everything. A strategy to succeed and bless you. So, instead of worrying or being anxious about the circumstance, begin praying about it and strengthen your faith in me. I've already told you what you shouldn't do. I have given you the ability to tell the difference between good and bad. You've heard of Samson. I warned him about what he should not do. But he did not do so. You find out afterwards what happened to him and how it ended. Similarly, there were times when you failed to follow my instructions. You had committed sins even when you were aware that you were doing so. Later, knowing where it led you, you realized those were incorrect, and at the time, you blamed me for your faults. When Samson realized his error, he prayed to me, and I forgive him and answer his prayer. Similarly, when you realized your error and came to me for assistance, I pardoned you and gave you a new life. 
but are you still making the same errors? Do not assume it is acceptable to do it because you will be able to beg me for forgiveness afterward. I will forgive you, you have no reason to distrust me. However, those errors will lead to unfavorable consequences. So, always pray and live an obedient life in accordance with my desire. There are many things in this world that can separate you from me. But your prayer has the power to halt it. The more you worry, the more worried you will get. The more you pray with faith, the more comfortable you will feel. You will meet a lot of individuals if you read my word. Daniel prayed in faith when he was put into the lion's den. When Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were thrown into a raging fire, they prayed. Esther prayed in faith when she faced a difficult situation. They are only a few examples. However, as you study my word, you will come across many people who have battled in their lives. You will also see that they prayed in faith regardless of what had happened in their lives. They expected me to be there with them. They expected me to assist them. They expected me to answer their prayers. When you look at their lives, you will notice that I have never failed them. I blessed them by giving them more than they asked for. I formed you in the same way that I formed them all. I brought you here for a reason. I'll finish it when the time comes. Instead of worrying about it, pray about it with trust. I'm right there with you. I will shower you with blessings. My precious youngster, I know you have high expectations of me. But let me tell you something. I have more blessings in store for you than you can imagine. Some of those advantages may take time to manifest. A delay does not imply that it has been denied. I'm getting you ready for it. Simply reflect on what has occurred in your life. Certain things caused you cry at first, but you eventually thanked me for the good blessing that resulted. Some of the things did not go as planned. When you see a girl or a guy, you may fall in love with him or her and later ask me to marry you to him or her. When you notice a job opportunity in the papers or elsewhere, you ask me for it. You have a lot of expectations from me. But you neglect to say, if it is your will, let it be done in my life and lead to your glory. Did you ever say this before asking me for something? This is why you are always frustrated and lose trust in me when you do not receive what you have prayed for. You always forget whether or not what you have sought or are asking is in accordance with my desire. Remember, I promised you that I would offer you with exactly what you required. So put your trust in me. You've heard of Abraham, Esther, Jacob, David, and Joseph. They all had faith in me, and I never let them down. Believe in me, my child. I understand what is best for you. I will give it to you when the time comes. All you have to do is believe in me you will go through several stages in your life. Each season serves a distinct function. Consider Abraham, Joseph, and David. They all had to go through different stages of their lives in order to receive the blessing that I had planned for them. They never criticized or questioned me during all of those seasons. They exclusively trusted me in whatever situation they encountered. They did not wait for things to happen to see what would happen. Instead, they viewed everything through their faith and believed. Similarly, rather than waiting for things to happen before believing, 
strive to perceive everything through the lens of your faith. Remember, if you have mustard seed faith, you will see greater things in your life. Certain things will come to distract you when you initially try to see everything through the lens of your religion. Pray at that time your prayer has the power to change everything. Remember that I am always there for you. It is my pledge to you. So, face each season of your life by believing me and prepare for the glorious day ahead. You have a thought. It may be causing you tension or worry about specific aspects of your life. When Daniel was thrown into the lion's den, he would very certainly have the thought of being slain by lions in his mind. But, at that point, instead of focusing on the lions, he prayed to me. He trusted that I would protect him. Remember, whenever you dwell on a concept, you are allowing it to grow in your mind. It will subsequently cause you to be worried or stressed about various aspects of your life. Instead of thinking about it more, start praying about it. Your faith-filled prayer has the power to transform anything into a miracle. Believe in me. I will never let anything go wrong in your life. When I stated it, you might have been thinking about what's going on in the globe. Let me tell you about it. Everything that is happening is already recorded in my word as a sign of a wonderful day. Everyone is forgetting about it, but you should not be. Prepare yourself, the hour has come. When something bad happens in someone's life and they are worried, you will tell them not to worry and to trust God. God has a plan for you, and if God allows something to happen in your life, it will be for your benefit. But, in your life, how will you cope without hearing from others what you have said to them? What will you do if anything bad happens in your life? Will you first worry about it, or will you first trust me about it? Just consider it. You require more faith in me I will never let those who hope in me, those who believe in me, down. You've heard about Daniel, Joseph, Abraham, David, Hannah, and Esther. Despite everything they were going through, they believed in me. They had faith that I would answer their prayers at the appropriate moment. I never disappointed them, instead, I blessed them with blessings that I had saved for them at the appropriate time. I know you have faith in me. I will never let you down. Believe in me. I will never tell a lie. Thanks for watching this video.